Some people may think I'm crazy, but I quit my 9 to 5 job for Amazon FBA. And a matter of fact, I've been selling on Amazon FBA full time for almost a year now. So in this video, I'm going to break down how I was able to build a six-figure Amazon FBA business and live the life of my dreams through this unique, crazy business model called Amazon FBA. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevin Peterson and I'm super excited about today's video because we're going to be going over my entire FBA journey. And as you guys can see in the title, I quit my nine to five job forever because of Amazon FBA, okay? But before we dive into the video, I want to first welcome everyone that is new to the channel. So if you guys have not yet subscribed, go down and hit the subscribe button. We are slowly growing this community and I really appreciate all of the support. And also if you guys are enjoying this video, leave a thumbs up and leave leave a comment for future videos that you would like to see. And the second thing is, I have two giveaways going on. Um, one video that I posted on Monday and another one on Wednesday. There's a $50 winner for one person that subscribes, likes the video and comments, and then the other one is a free 30 minute coaching call. So make sure to go check those videos out for a chance to win those giveaways. And I will be announcing those winners on Monday next week for the first one, and then the next one on Wednesday of the same week so check those out and now let's dive into the video where I'm basically going to break down my entire FBA journey and I'm going to give you guys three tips on what you guys need to do in order to quit your 9 to 5 job and live the lifestyle of your dreams. Alright so let's just start from the very beginning back in 2017 I was going to college and I was not very happy with what I was learning and I was just thinking to myself I could be making money instead of having to pay to go to school and so uh, long story short I dropped out and I pursued a job uh, started a nine-to-five job and in that time I just was thinking okay what can I do what can I start and so I started some different side hustles um, I even joined an MLM because I was just looking for literally something to replace my nine to five job so that I could live the life of my dreams. And during that time, I was reading a bunch of different entrepreneurship books, and I came across this book called The Four Hour Work Week. And prior to basically that point where I started reading these books, I had read maybe a couple books in my life, and I've never been criticized so much for reading a book than I was criticized reading the four hour work week. Everyone thought I was just crazy because I had this aspiration of working four hours a week. So, that book, if you guys have not read it, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's kind of changed the way that I've thought. Um, anyways, I was thinking and I was like, what? What can I do? Like, um, in, in the book, there's like a bunch of different ideas and, and it just gets your brain thinking. And so I was constantly thinking, okay, what, what can I do? What can I start to be able to um, work four hours a week and provide for my family and live the lifestyle of my dreams without having to work um, day in and day out from nine to five? So I was just trying everything and um, my friend, uh, I came across a friend and he was selling on Amazon and at the time I had no idea what selling on Amazon was. I had never heard of it. I had heard of drop shipping and I had actually tried uh, Shopify drop shipping and I didn't really succeed with that and my friend was telling me about Amazon FBA and I was like okay it's kind of similar to Shopify but at the same time it's like completely different and he started talking and he was telling me how how um, much money he was making and how much time he was basically putting into it and I was thinking to myself like holy cow he's making like double what I'm making and he's working like two hours a week so I mean just right there like he's living what the book says the four hour work week even less so I as soon as I heard that I was like I'm in I'm going to uh, create the four hour work week with Amazon FBA and so I started telling my friends and family kind of about Amazon and they kind of thought I was crazy and I started selling and at that time I was still um, working my 9 to 5 job. So um, I, I feel you if you guys are in that same situation, you, you have to start somewhere. You, you, you have to have money coming in. You can't just 
say oh, I'm going to start selling on Amazon and boom, quit my nine to five job. It doesn't work that way. You have to make some sacrifices. Okay, so during that time, I just jumped right into it, and luckily I had some income coming in, so that if I failed, I mean it. It wasn't the end of the world. So I literally just jumped right in, put the pedal to the metal, and just started ordering products. I mean, within like a month, I had ordered three products. I failed miserably, and I actually talk about those products um, in yesterday's video. But um, the moral of the story was I I didn't care what was in my way. I, I didn't think about the consequences. I just jumped in and started selling and I failed and I learned and I failed and I learned from my mistakes. Okay, so that's kind of the first biggest tip is just get started. Too many times we're worrying about we need to know everything perfectly before we start. And yes, I would agree with that to a certain extent. Um, I mean, if I could go back and do it all over again, um, I wouldn't take back the things that I learned and the mistakes that I learned from. But I could have learned and took taken a little bit of time to study and do some research, and I probably probably would have saved a couple thousand dollars. Um, so that's something that I would highly recommend doing: is get started. Don't feel like you need to know everything, but still put in the effort to gain a basic understanding with Amazon FBA. Okay, so that's the first biggest takeaway of my FBA journey. And then the second thing is. I can't tell you how many times I was criticized. I mean, I was criticized for thinking that, that I wanted to work four hours a week. I was criticized for reading the four hour work week. I mean, I was criticized for dropping out of school. I was criticized for literally everything. So you're going to have people tell you that you can't do something and you just need to have the mindset whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. You, you need to think to yourself, I can do this. And if you have that mindset and if you just keep going and don't let anyone get in, in your way, you're going to succeed, okay? So those are the two kind of biggest tips um, from like the beginning of my journey is you just need to get started. Um, now take some time to learn. Don't do what I did and just start ordering random products. <laughs> I, I look back on, on the things that I was doing and I, I, I don't know how I or why I did the things that I did. And then the second thing is just who cares what people think and just do you, be you, and and have fun doing it, okay? So those are the two things. So now let's fast forward a couple months where I was selling for a little bit. Um, I was failing products, then I would succeed and then I'd fail. And it just was like a roller coaster the whole way. And I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. And I just kept putting my head down. I was like, no, I can do it. This is going to work. Um, and I was just learning from my mistakes. And little by little, I started learning. And it the process became a whole lot easier. And I started to know what to look for. And I understand it. Okay, this market is probably a little bit too competitive. And this product... Um, well, it's restricted or it's gated or it has a patent on it. I mean, the list goes on of the different things that I learned. Um, but along that way, um, the third takeaway is you you need to be willing to risk. You, you need to take some risks, okay? So you, you can't be successful without having to sacrifice something, whether that's money, whether that's time with your friends, whether that's time um, in general, whether it's staying up late, um, to be able to, to talk to the suppliers, you're going to need to risk something. You're going to need to make a sacrifice. Um, whether it's you need to save some money, um, you, you can't go out to eat on the weekend or you can't go party with your friends, uh, you're going to have to make some sacrifices so that you can save up your money and make an investment on your first product or whatever the case is. You're going to have to take risks, okay? So that is basically what I was doing. And during this time, I was still working my 9-to-5 job, okay? So I... Um, don't think that just start Amazon FBA and then a couple weeks later you got your first product up and you're going to quit your job. I mean, that's it. that could be the case, but I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, I had um, an income coming in so that if I did fail a product or if something didn't go right, I still had income to be able to support my family and be able to live, okay? So that's another huge thing is don't just quit your job um, after the first week of selling. You need to actually build something sustainable. So once I kind of understood the whole process and I had launched like two products that were starting to just, um, I was starting to see some massive results. 
um, I decided, well, this is my time and I'm going to quit my nine to five job. And as soon as I quit, um, I just, again, I just put the pedal to the metal and I just went at it. And that next month, um, I just like quadrupled my sales from the previous month and I was just on fire and I just kept going and kept going. And then I kind of plateaued and, and now I'm just like super motivated again. And then it just went up and went up and I mean, the rest is history. So basically, those are the three biggest things that I would recommend for you guys to do. And I'm not some motivational speaker, and that's not my intentions. I'm just basically sharing you guys my story and the reality that Amazon FBA doesn't happen overnight. It takes some time. There's a big learning curve. Um, it's not as easy as everyone makes it up to be. But if you follow the right processes, you follow the right systems that are proven, then it's fairly straightforward. It's just you need to put in the effort. You need to not care what other people are going to say because people are going to be like, oh, you, you sell on Amazon? Ha <laughs> ha. Like, like that's some joke. Um, people are going to criticize you of, of wanting to do something different outside of getting your degree, going to school, and working the 9-to-5 job. People are going to criticize you for that, and, and that's okay. And I'm not saying that college um, isn't important. Um, it's just, for me, it wasn't important, okay? So depending on your situation, I mean, everyone has a completely different situation, different story, and that's why I'm making this video is just to be as real as I can with you guys and just to share you guys my crazy, funny story um, and it's been just the biggest blessing and life changer ever that Amazon FBA came into my life and that I was willing to take action and take risks and um, sacrifice a little bit. So that's what you guys need to do. That's the mentality that you need to have if you want to succeed. And if you guys need any help, let me know. That's why I have this channel. I want to help you. I want you to succeed. I don't want you guys to um, deal with the same headaches that I had to deal with when I first started my business. So that's why I have this channel and that's why I'm open about my numbers. That's why I'm open about everything because I want you guys to learn from a current Amazon seller. So I just want to say thank you guys for following along with my journey. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would go down and hit the subscribe button. I have a goal to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So I'm really motivated to do that and I'm dropping like daily videos, at least five videos a week. So you guys are going to get new content daily and it's going to be up to date. So that's my story on basically me, basically my FBA journey and it's been the biggest life changer and now I'm able to work as little or as much as I want. I can travel and still make money. I wake up in the morning and I made money. I mean, I'm making money 24-7 because people are always shopping on Amazon and I don't have to do the fulfillment. So that's why I love Amazon FBA is it's something that, yeah, it requires a lot of work up front, but once you get it going, you can automate the process and you can go travel. You can go do the things that you love to do. So you're going to have to sacrifice some things that you love, but down the road, I mean, like looking back, I made a ton of sacrifices. But now I'm able to enjoy like 10 times what I was enjoying at that moment when I thought, oh, should I not go to this party or should I um, go out to the movies or you just you just got to make sacrifices. OK, so thank you guys for watching I, this video. I just kind of ranted, but that's OK. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up and leave a comment for future videos that you guys would like to see as well. So we will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.